I think I want my crown. Complications are a part of life. Life's package. There is no promised land without struggle. Adversity is full of opportunities. But lately, I have observed and shit. I have been a victim of this myself for some bizarre reason. Men see it as a woman being combative or being uh, taking on the role of a man or something. We are accused of disrupting, upsetting their peace. But if there is a challenge, and let's say that I am the one who is sort of bringing it into our lives. What about my piece? Does that not upset you? The fact that there's something going on in my life that's turning me into this person that's combative, argumentative, whatever it is, which by the way, you don't like to actively listen to. I just wish to understand why men very often have a foot out the door. Tendencies of running away when things start to go wrong, say health declines, all of those things. What I want to understand today more than me just rambling away or complaining or moaning or bitching is I want to start this discussion, potentially turn this into something where I dig deeper into things to illustrate things for you guys to have more detail you guys let me know if you agree that that is a thing that happens maybe you yourself have done that and you didn't realize it and it cost you something it might have cost you your marriage it might have cost you a relationship that was actually pretty good pretty nice and you just didn't realize that your pride was getting in the way or you just stopped listening to the woman in your life and then stuff just went south from there. Anytime I personally have things going on in my life and I discuss them in a manner that sounds like I'm defensive and stuff, it's because yeah, this is something that's disrupting my life, it's annoying, it's upsetting and uh, if you're not going to be there to support me, at least be there to celebrate me when I end up overcoming those challenges. Especially if I overcame those challenges without your help. For whatever reason, you didn't want to be present. You thought it was stressful. You didn't want to give me support. You wanted to make me think that I was the problem. Whatever it is. I just want to, to vent about this because there's some folks who are making like certain comments and sure i can be there to support you especially when you vent to me i don't immediately try to give you advice but if i sense that you're committing an injustice i will definitely try to call you out on it and oftentimes it may look like i'm defending the person who may be in the wrong here i will condemn whoever i think is doing things extremely wrong. Also, I want for people to understand one fucking thing, and that is that failure of something, let it be a relationship, let it be someone in a job, in a role, whatever, it is usually the result of a collective failure. In the same manner that someone succeeding at their role or something working out, is the result of positive, collective, effective effort. Why would I treat you any different? If there's something going wrong in your life and I am detecting some things that I don't hear you talking about that I feel are important to maybe lead this in the right direction, I will mention it. I'm not saying that I'm siding with the other person. I'm not siding with you. I'm not siding with the other person because at this point, when something is hitting a crisis level, I think that you need to own your responsibility. 
your part of the story in the same manner that the other person is contributing to the downfall. But when you make something incredibly one-sided, that is when I begin to get suspicious and I'm thinking, could you possibly be a gaslighter? Or could you possibly be someone who wants to reap the benefit of a victim mentality, which to me, that kind of mentality has no benefit whatsoever. I think it makes you delusional. And when someone hits the stage of being delusional, I feel like that is the point of almost no return because this person has convinced themselves that they're really in that position that they have convinced themselves to be in and no amount of coaching no amount of advising is going to make him see it until it just the worst of the worst of the worst happens and they have no other choice but to accept that they too need to take action so anyways i'll leave it at that that is all that i have to say at the moment and honestly feel like saying at the moment because i need to let some things marinate and it's something that I really don't explore very often because I tend to resolve these kinds of matters fairly quickly. I just want to see what you guys feel and maybe you guys are going to give me the key to resolve something for someone who gave me the idea for this topic and maybe I won't need to revisit this after all but I'm noticing a pattern. And I'm wondering if one of you guys out there can pick up on it this early on and maybe I won't even have to to further this. Or maybe I have a complete misconception going on, something that I haven't caught yet and one of you guys will point it out. That's what I'm hoping because I really cannot believe that this has become the norm now. So anyways, you guys let me know. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon.